Hello everyone, Papa is here and welcome to my channel. Alright, in this video I want to share you a quick tips for trading using vending machine at Ragnarok Next Generation game. Alright, let's check this out. Okay, before we start, please support me with just subscribe this channel and in return I will always give you an update or useful information related right now of next generation. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. First thing first, what you need to do is go to the Frontera city and click on this map and search for the general merchant NPC this is yeah and just go to the NPC as you can see here the name of store is sunrise store so you need to buy the item this item shop finder is really cheap and after buy it you need to use that item this item and just search what item you want to buy so I will give an example I want to buy an item for upgrading my weapon and here you can see there is a selling finder or purchase finder the difference is selling finder is used to search the merchant who is selling the item and the purchase finder is used for us to find the merchant who is needed the item that he or she want to buy i will show the selling finder first here is the core oh, there is no one sell it let's try another so as you can see here you can see the list uh, the merchant or the player who is selling with the lowest price until the higher price and next i will show you how to use that item shopping finder for getting a lot of zeni so as you can see here i have an item broken arrow item it's usually merchant using for level up their crafting level so i will sell it at the coc here as you can see if we sell it at coc we just get 270 zeni but if we sell it at the merchant we will get a higher price so let's try it if we sell it to a merchant just type the keyword arrow and then we push the button for purchase finder so there is a lot of arrow here and just click this item and you can see here there is a lot of merchant need this item from the lowest price until the higher price so i will go to the higher price you can see this merchant is want to buy this item with 850 zeni so it really benefit for us to sell our item to the vending machine at the main city here is this merchant want to buy our broken arrow with the price is at 150 zeni so just sell it see uh, we really have a great benefit to sell our item at the vending machine to the merchant class all right the next benefit is here when you want to upgrade your equipment to the higher tier like this you need a fan core 
or this uh, piercing core or even this sharp core and if you don't have a high level of smelting so that item will help you to search automatically the item that you need so let's try it we want to buy an item for upgrading tier of equipment so just use it and click on the tab the keyword it's core and let's find the selling finder so a lot of merchant will sell the materials that use for upgrading our tier equipment so here i want to buy this and we can go to the shop automatically and boom we find the shop all right and see we can buy the raw materials for upgrading our equipment it's really easy okay so as you can see the current base level is less than 35 so i can do a trading before level 35 okay so i will try it again later when i reach the best level level 35 all right guys maybe that's all the tips for optimize your shopping time at Prontera city using a finding machine from blacksmith class all right if you feel this video is useful or have a great information please like this video and also don't forget to subscribe and of course in return i will always give you an update or useful information related right now of next generation okay maybe that's all from me thank you for watching and see you in my other video bye bye oke sekian dulu video kali ini jangan lupa di like comment subscribe dan share sebanyak-banyaknya ya thank you